know you know the way. I know the way. You have to have a bowler to know the way. I have a bowler. It's just a know the way to know the way. You, you need to have the bowler. This is my new habit. This is very good habit. This is my new What's up guys, Everything Apple Pro here and I've got an awesome video for you today. More hacks on an iPhone on iOS 11. I used to make these videos all the time but Apple's just been making it harder and harder to do these but at the same time I still wanted to show you them even though you may not be able to install some of these and just to keep that in mind that some of these are just for show even though you'll not be able to recreate them. There's some really cool stuff in here. I'll try and show you the way. Okay, that was so bad. But uh, let's go ahead and get started and I'll show you these anyways. So first one that you're seeing here is a glitch that will work on any device on iOS 11 up to 11.2.2 and that's to get blank icons in order for your device to have an Android-esque home screen going on where you can move your apps anywhere. It's a little tricky to work with but it's a lot better than the one where you screen shoot your home screen and then the apps kind of have their own little effect when you slide. It looks like crap basically. This one is real, you can't move them, they're just there. So on a device that is on iOS 11.2.2 latest firmware, let me show you how to do this glitch. It's very simple. So invoke reachability on any device. It works on the iPhone 10 too. You just need to enable it in the accessibility menu. Then go ahead and hold on an icon to move it in wiggle mode and drop it on top of another one in a different row. So drop it in the folder. And when you go back, you'll notice that there's a blank icon here. So just swipe the page a little, it'll reappear, but at the same time, it's over there. What? Take this and then just move it over in wiggle mode over the app right here and drop it. Now when you let go, there is a blank space here and that one over there disappears. So you guys can go ahead and remove this from the folder and just pop it down over here and it remains. Now this creates a very weird effect. It, it's not removed with a restart, which is crazy. So this will stick as long as you have it here. Now I'll make another one up here just to show you guys. It's kind of strange to bring it up here, drop it into the folder that creates or whoops, that didn't work, or no, it did. Swipe over the page, it reappears, and then take this and uh, pop it over a space here. And as you can see, there is a blank space there now. So I have two of those. I can drop the camera icon back on the home screen, and you can work with these. So you can actually move them over as you wish. Uh, just hold it, and then it pops over there, and uh, you can go the other way as well. So you can move them around and adjust your home screen accordingly. Have fun with this one. Anyone can install this one. All right, so this isn't exactly an iPhone hack, but you can install this on your Snapchat. I thought this was the funniest thing ever. There's actually a whole subreddit dedicated to making these snap lenses now that Snapchat allows you to download them and install them. So this one is the latest. Oh my God, what I found this is just freaking hilarious. Um, so if you guys know the whole you do not know the way meme on Snapchat, you guys can get that in your own personal Snapchat. Just uh, pop into the link down below in the description. Go ahead and select open in Snapchat and you guys will be able to unlock this filter. Use it as you please. It's actually a lot of fun just to mess around and there's so many different types. Uh, it's AR implemented so it is pretty cool. This abomination of nature. Uh, definitely enjoy this one responsibly, guys. A meme for the masses. Little known fact here, you can get the Apple logo to glow using this little hidden hack in the App Store. Just go ahead and, okay, I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> I just had to throw that at the JK. Uh, anyways, so Delta over here is a project that allows you to play Game Boy Advance, Super Nintendo, Game Boy Color, in the future Nintendo 64 ROMs as well on your device. And this is a project that I'm getting to beta test early. Uh, definitely something that I cannot wait until it's released on a wider scale. It will be later this year, so I'll keep you updated on that. But there's a new update for the iPhone 10, and it looks absolutely stunning. So play all of your Game Boy Advance classics on your iPhone, and it works so well. So the buttons are actually haptic activated, so it does activate the Taptic Engine. It feels amazing, almost like you're pressing a real button here. So definitely something really cool. And uh, the interface for it is really neat. I'm gonna go to the main menu real quick. As you can see, you can download all of these with album arts. This is one of my favorite hacks or apps that Apple definitely doesn't let you have that I cannot wait to share with all of you guys in a little bit here. So this is Delta latest beta on the iPhone and it is absolutely fantastic. So next up is a hack that allows you to change your icon shape on the home screen to whatever you please. It's definitely not available to everybody, which is a shame because I wish it was, but you might be able to install it. Just go into settings, go into general, and then go to about. And if you're on iOS 11.1.2 or earlier, 
you will be able to install this. I'll leave a link down below as to where you can find the info to do that. So this is essentially like a jailbreak light, no Cydia, but it still allows you to make some customizations to your device. And the first one that I'm showing you guys here is how to get that icon mask. As you can see, the round icons work surprisingly well on iOS 11. And with the iPhone 10, it works very well in particular because of the rounded edges. So this is a theme that I wish Apple would implement, but you can change it to whatever you want. There's hexagons as well. I'm gonna go ahead and change that. And uh, you have to respring your device in order for it to take effect. But as you can see, now I've got this really interesting uh, hexagon shape going on here. And uh, it looks pretty neat, it works. I mean, I'm loving this. I just wish everyone can use it. And this guy over here, you may have noticed that I do have different app badge icon colors. As you can see there, they're uh, different. That's magenta on these. And you can change all of them using the very same hack there. Well, actually this is a different one, Houdini, but it works in a very similar manner. Uh, I very much like this. So thanks to Abraham Masri for releasing this to everybody. Again, you have to be on iOS 11.1.2 or earlier to use it. Anyways, you can go into icon badges here and you can apply a different color. You do have to use a hex value. So I'm gonna use 09 FF and it'll show you the color that you are using. That is the magenta one, but you can change it to anything you want. So I'm just randomly inputting them, seeing what what will come of it. Just like that, they are neon green now on my device. I love it. This is one that's kind of cool as well. How to change your emoji style to one from a different platform. So I'll show you on my iOS 11 device, I do have Android style emojis here. And if you're a fan of those, you don't like Apple style, you can definitely switch them. So when you send them though, the receiving party will still see them as they are on iOS, but you basically see them a little bit differently here. It's a different design language for sure. I don't like it personally, but you do have several choices of what you would want. So inside of Houdini, you do have an option in order to change the emoji uh, style over here. So I had it on Google style. I'm going to put Samsung style over here. And within a few seconds, you can have a completely different setup for your emojis on your device. I think this is a really clever little hack. Definitely one of the more creative ones. And once we do get Cydia working on 11.1.2, there's going to be so much different opportunity to change things. So Android style emojis, if you didn't like apples, you can use uh, your Samsung-like ones on an iPhone, really cool. This is one of the coolest ones I've seen here. Change the control center up to whatever you want it to be. Now I'm gonna make it something really ridiculous here. So I'm gonna adjust the slider height to really long here. So uh, I'm gonna save that. So let's see what sort of ridiculousness I have installed on my <laughs> device. Wow, in case you really, really need to slide that brightness for extreme precision, wow. <laughs> But that is really cool. See, this gives you uh, an idea of what you're able to do with that. So when you actually go into your control center settings here, you are able to add different things over here. So if you don't want the audio bit player, you can remove that or the audio adjusting module, connectivity module. So as you can see, you add the blocks and you can rearrange them as you please. Orientation lock, um, do not disturb and you're able to configure those as you want. I think it's a really neat option on your device. I'm gonna make these sliders as tall as possible here. All right, and here's my optimal control center setting. I love to get some action in here when sliding on my uh, volume and brightness sliders. You can also change the text of particular elements on your device, such as the lock screen text here. As you can see, I've inputted my name, everything Apple Pro, you can put emojis there, really whatever you want. Not only that, but you can change it up here in the status bar, really any text of your device uh, for that matter, using the files uh, over here, files that escaped. It's a little bit of a process, so I don't recommend it to beginners, but you are able to do that. And this was fairly easy. It took me like a minute to change the text on my lock screen. You can also change the low power alerts to say whatever you want, like, hey, charge your phone, bubba. But uh, yeah, that's another one, another little hack for the list. This is really going way back. I remember making videos on this one years ago. And there you go. So as you can see, the frame rate is really bad because it can only run at five frames per second. You were able to change your boot logo now in iOS 11 using either one of those hack tools that I showed you guys. So when you turn your device on and you turn it back on, you can change the boot screen to that of the pineapple from Red Snow. If you guys remember jailbreaking your device years upon years ago, it will change it to the little apple or pineapple logo. So as you can see, super cool. 
briefly there and uh, you're back in your device. So you are able to change the boot logos now as well. And exclusively for iPhone 10 owners, this next hack is an abomination. So you're actually able to input a custom and emoji face over here. As you can see, there is, oh my God, that is so scary. There's my mouth and uh, my mustache right there overlaid on the alien emoji. So you're able to put your own custom one in here using Houdini inside of packages. We'll scroll down to I am an emoji and you're able to open the camera, take a picture of yourself here. It has to be kind of zoomed out. And if you use the photo, it'll basically turn your face into an emoji and it will reflect in the messages application. Something Apple certainly does not allow you to do. So if you go back into your messages now, your new face is gonna be there. And oh my God, this one is scarier than the last. What have I created? That is terrifying. This one is particularly clean. So if you guys have noticed, just like the dock stock is on iOS 11 without icon labels, I have no icon labels anywhere in iOS 11. And it looks really, really cool. There used to be a glitch that would enable this on iOS 10, it no longer works. Uh, but this version does have some bugs, so not all of the apps do remove it. I'm sure in the future beta, it will be perfect, but still looks really nice. No icon labels on your applications. And there is some stuff I didn't even cover that is in here as well, such as changing resolutions. So it can be dangerous. I wouldn't recommend this to beginners. You have to know what you're doing and uh, how to reverse it and everything like that. So be very careful with this, guys. But there will be a full jailbreak soon on iOS 11 that I'm looking forward to. And for the people that can't install most of these hacks, hopefully in the future, you will be able to with a new version of Houdini that supports a newer sandbox escape in 11.2.2 or if that's ever found, you know, hopeful thoughts. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Just some really awesome hacks on the iPhone, most of which you can't try, but are still cool to see. Peace.